All right, so we've got a seated opponent. We want to get the, the body lock pass. Um, usually from here, I'm going to essentially try to almost force like a butterfly, but, but looking for the grip to my body lock you know, as, I'm, as I'm sitting in for that, okay? So, um, but you can, I, can, I sometimes think of it almost like you're shooting a, a double leg takedown from here, okay? So similar to wrestling, you're trying to set up, there's the hand fight, his hands are in the way, I'm trying to deal with the hands until I can shoot him to catch the, the position I want. Okay. Ah. So it is, it is quite similar like that and the hand fight is really important. Generally, to, to open that gap, Lockie's trying to get control of my wrists. Obviously, if he holds my hands, I can't get a, a body lock. So I'm gonna be going like outside control and then pushing in. This is the best way to, to open. When my grip's like this, if Lockie wants to, like it's very hard to cover the inside position. Maybe we turn it in. Face the camera. If I can push like this, see how my grip covers this side? So to break that grip, Loggy has to move his hand away. Yeah, which gives me a gap still to work with. If I grab like this, where does he break? Inside. It's hard to get in that space. Okay, it's a similar thing that works well in, in wrestling as well. But if I can get my grip like that, and then Loggy starts trying to break, that can give me a chance to, to dive in to set up my my uh, my body lock. Okay, so both both hands will be working here, trying to get control on the inside, getting my hands on the inside. So he has to pull his hands away and give me a chance to get into this gap. Okay, now head positioning is definitely very important. Um, generally, like if I can, I want my head to like push into the to the to the chest here. Uh, I definitely want a head lower than Lockie's, but definitely shoulder as well is actually more important. Because sometimes people head fight really well. Like if Lockie's head fighting really well, but I can get my, my shoulder lower, see that? My shoulder's lower than, the line of my shoulder's lower than his, I can still body lock well. Okay, remember that was really important principle, we don't let our shoulder slide past the line of their shoulders. So even if you're losing the head battle, if your shoulder battle is winning, that's, that's fine. But ideally, you win the head battle to begin. Okay, so feet back, I tend to keep them both pretty, pretty parallel. Like uh, out, out wide, I don't want to give him a chance to grab my leg. This is going to be much harder to get the, the body lock now. So keep my legs away, gripping the hands, coming in. And then I'm going to start to dive for the body lock. My head's going to the same side that I want to attach. And now really important, if you shoot it like a double leg, don't extend both legs, both hands, just to get the grip. What's going to happen now, I'm going to end up in close guard. Okay. So what I want to do, is my right hand will go deep and my left hand will go shallow, blocking the, the thigh here. Okay, so I'm in. Look at my left hand, okay? It's, it's stopped there. I haven't reached any further than my hand going to the hip. My right hand's gonna come through to that. If you can't reach, that's okay. Like, spend a bit of time, like, adjusting from there, but definitely don't lose the connection on that leg that is blocking him from getting his leg to the outside, okay? Now I can connect my hands. And I can start to work uh, for the body lock pass from there.